Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Secretary Granholm, for your uh, willingness to be here and appearing before the committee. I'd like to get clarification on distribution transformers and the new energy efficiency standards that DOE issued just this last December. I've heard from all of my local power companies in Mississippi. They are ringing me up, and I've read the key findings from the Tiger team about serious problems with the supply chain shortages threatening the region's electric infrastructure, including skyrocketing cost and the long lead times up to two to four years and more. In order to meet your department's most recent conservation standards for transformers. Manufacturers are being forced to use an alternative, more expensive and limited type of steel, which has and will continue to worsen the supply chain. It seems to me the White House and your department have put the cart before the horse with this new efficiency standards versus meeting current demand, supporting positive investments in the electric grid, and providing critical services to our citizens. Because coming off of COVID and the supply chains, you've compounded this problem. And as your department stated in its response to a letter on this issue, modifying existing production facilities to meet certain standards is costly and burdensome. So why didn't the department give more serious consideration to the cost and burdens it would place on manufacturers before rolling out these standards, which as a result have led to rising prices, longer lead times, and now a critical shortage? Uh, just to clarify, the, it is a proposed standard, so it hasn't gone into effect yet. We just completed the uh, comment period, and so we're evaluating all the comments from uh, the utilities who have expressed concerns about it. We completely agree that there is a huge series of challenges for the distribution, uh, you know, both manufacturing as well as being able to access the workforce, the, the supply chain. Steel is a big problem, and current transformers use this grain-oriented electric steel, which is what currently is around. Uh, amorphous steel is more efficient, but you're right. So do that's you not think maybe that it will not go into effect when you thought it would? Do you think this may go away? Uh, I don't know. I think it's important to continue to move toward efficiency, but we are having conversations with industry. I'll just say that. And it seems clear to me that even though DOE already mandates distribution transformers be manufactured to this incredibly high efficiency standards, you all remain determined to force these efficiency standards on manufacturers despite the serious burden that they bring. The National Electric Manufacturers Association calculates these standards would only increase efficiency by 0.02%. So I just want you to consider, and if you can answer this, how is it worth further worsening an already critical transformer shortage if that will be the only savings if you go forward with this. Yeah, there's a, dis there's a disagreement about how much more efficient uh, they are, but again, these are just proposed standards. As with all proposed uh, efficiency standards, there is this period of discussion and outreach and inviting input from the industry. Um, we would like to see uh, both types of steel be available. We would love for the Defense Production Act to supply more funding to be able to in incentivize manufacturers to open up more manufacturing process in the United States. The, um, we have $75 million under the Defense Production Act for that. It's not enough to get new factories up, and so we'd like to see more of that in addition to having both types of steel be available. But we are in discussion. So with these discussions and your evaluation of this now, do you think that it could be postponed for up to two years before then? Do you think that the standards may not go into effect? As I say, we're in discussion and no final decision has been made yet. But there's a possibility that you could delay this? Lots of things are possible. Thanks for not answering. <laughs> yes or no, is there any concern that the current transformer shortage will only get worse since demand continues to go up? We are certainly concerned about the supply of transformers all the way across, which is why we really want to incentivize more manufacturing and more steel. How about the investment to keep transformer productions online? Uh, yes or no, are there any concerns from DOE there? We want to keep them online for sure, and we want to add more. 
Okay, Secretary, uh, Madam Secretary, do you believe these new standards can be successfully implemented by 2027? I do think they could be, but we are, as I say, in this discussion period with those who are affected, and we want to make sure that we're responsive. Okay, and can you commit to working with me and my staff on this issue to get to a point where no new standard is required as we alleviate the supply chain issues for these transformers? I certainly can commit to working with you and your staff. Thanks. I'm out of time. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Senator Cortez Masto.